What's going on guys? So today we're in Payday 2, and we're going to talk about the best non-DLC loud class setup. Um, so, as I said before, most of this is non-DLC, so it's open to a lot of people. Um, obviously the Ultimate Edition just came out, so feel free, go get the DLC weapons, they're great. Have fun with those. Um, but today we're just going to go over non-DLC stuff. So, uh, let's jump right into it. Um, so primary, we're going to use the UAR rifle. If you've ever played any other games like Call of Duty or anything, you'll know this as the AUG. Um, so if you have any weapon skins, um, go ahead, put them on. doesn't matter. But we're going to start with the barrel first, and what we're going to be doing is the long barrel. Now, this is mostly just for accuracy. Um, this gun isn't very accurate in the first place, so the more accuracy, the better. Um, Next is going to be the barrel exit. Now you have a couple options here, um, but we want a silencer is the general thing. Um, what is the best I've seen is the bigger the better suppressor. Um, if you don't have this, you can get it with coins and then buy with money. Or if you do have it, great, awesome. But um, if either of those are not something you can do, the medium suppressor is also uh, does the job. If you have any boosts, go ahead, put them on. Um, but I do not. And then for custom, we're going to leave everything here. Now, what you could do is put on single fire. It's not a bad idea. Um, but it is very easy to single fire the gun anyway, so uh, up to you. And now we're going to go into extra. Um, we're going to do the A3 tactical foregrip. Um, it just gives you a lot of stability, uh, helps with the accuracy and stability to go up to 100. So it makes the gun very accurate. And for gadgets, um, this is one of the most game-changing things I've actually ever used, is the LED combo. Um, or mostly just the LED uh, laser. It's amazing. It helps you not to have to zoom into your gun. Uh, it's very, very accurate. Uh, the game makes it point very, very well. So please, please on an LED combo or at least a laser sight, uh, compact laser module at the least. Um, so now we're going to go to the low receiver and what we're going to use is the Raptor polymer body. Again, we're already at 100, but uh, make sure you put this on for accuracy and stability. Damage it affects a little bit, concealment affects a little bit, but mostly this is just for accuracy and stability. And for the sight, the thing I've been using, the thing I've been rocking is the holographic sight, but Seriously, this is up to you. Um, this brings it up to 100 stability, so you may want to consider this, but you also have other options. Just make sure it's compatible with your other attachments. Um, and one thing I want to say about this is when you do this, make sure you go and switch reticle and put it to dot two because dot one is very, very small. So um, let's get back and let's look at our secondary. So one of the best secondaries you can ever use in this game is the Judge Shotgun. Um, it's not too expensive, um, but it is so effective. So let's hop right into this. Um, ammo, we're going to use the Triple Hot Buckshot. Uh, very, very good with damage. But you also have another choice, a very um, applicable choice, is the AP Slug. It can shoot through uh, armor and shields, which is really great, but you can also just have one of your uh, team members or squad members use the AP slug on a different weapon and they can shoot you through shields because this does affect the total ammo by four and this gun doesn't already have a lot of ammo to begin with because it's a shotgun so consider your options, pick which one you want but uh, triple out buckshot is what works for me. Next we're going to do the barrel uh, exit and by far the best silencer, we, this, we want a silencer for this, best silencer is the uh, sh um, silencer. So as you can see on the side, it just it is amazing. Um, if you can get it with coins, that's awesome. If you can't, um, just grind for those coins because this is this is so worth it. Again, if you have any boosts, get through those. Um, but we're gonna go to gadget now and make sure you put a laser on it. As I explained before, best thing you'll do in this game is put a laser on your guns. It is so accurate. The game does it so well. The developer did it so well um, so please please put on a uh, at least a laser 
And in the sight, this is completely up to you. Um, I know a lot of people use a sight on this gun, but I just, I cannot stand a sight on this gun. So um, pick what you want. Again, you can do a mil spec scope, which is uh, one of the best things to put on it. Um, but besides that, I, I don't like a scope on it, so up to you. Now let's get to our melee. Um, pretty much this is going to be up to you. Just depends on what you like. Uh, this is the uh, El Vertigo, which is a community item. Is very, very good for damage and just how many times you can swipe. So uh, consider that, but there's also some other options you can do, uh, like you know knives and stuff like that. Um, HEF grenade is the best you can get, and they also came out with the Russian grenade um, that is also pretty effective, and they're both community items, so pick whatever you want you want. Um, equipment depends on who you're with, so um, ammo bags, if, you, if someone else is carrying med bags, uh, turret mines if someone else is carrying ammo bags, stuff like that, or a turret, even a turret, um, but make sure you talk to your squad, or if you're going solo, um, make sure you just pick what you need and go with it. Obviously the combined tactical vest is what you're gonna be using for your armor. Uh, now let's get into skills. This is very very important so I'll take a little time on each one of these pages and explain why I did what. So let's start in the bottom left corner. Um, pretty much this is just for a little more health, a little more damage reduction. Not that big of a deal if you don't have it but it is a very very good perk. Uh, next is Cable Ties, Force Friendship. Um, you're going to want to get this so we can go up to the Intimidation and Converting Enemies. So we're going to Ace Confident, Ace Joker, Ace Partner to Crime. Um, so we can convert enemies and have them run a little faster. And we're also going to be doing Hasha's Taker, which makes you a little... Uh, some buffs, some damage buffs, some uh, health buffs when you take a hostage. And just for the bottom right, this is a very general, general perk. Stable shot gives you some weapon stability. Always great, always good points to put into it. So um, that's pretty much it for Mastermind. Let's go into Enforcer. Um, again, I'm going to have these up for a little bit, so pause if you need to just copy them down real quick. Uh, so let's start in the bottom left here. Um, Underdog is basically just a perk to get up to the shotgun perks. Um, shotgun CQB and Shotgun Impact, because we are using the Judge, which is a shotgun. Uh, it may not seem like it, but it is. <laughs> um, next we're going to do Resilience, just some armor recovery rate, and always, always have Transporter. Pretty much on, if you're doing Loud, Stealth, whatever, Transporter is awesome. Throwing bags is makes it so much easier. In the bottom right here, we're going to have Scavenger. This kind of depends on what you're position is in your squad. My position is usually ammo bags, so scavenger is great for me for ammo bags, um, but this you can really customize to yourself because it depends on what you need, what what your squad needs. So you can copy this, but you know, make sure you talk to or talk to whoever you play with to um, figure that out. Um, but extra lead, fully loaded, all about ammo bags, portable saw, uh, just in case you need it. So let's move over here, technician. Um, pretty much this is going to be focusing on drills, hardware expert, um, drill sergeant, and kickstarter, all to focus on drills. Um, I'm usually the person who drills, so I can upgrade drills, all that. If you're that, um, I'd, I would suggest every person in your squad having this, just because uh, anybody can get to the saw first. You don't want to have to have that one person to do it just because they can upgrade the saw. It's very, very annoying. It's much easier to place a saw than it is to upgrade a saw. It takes a lot longer to upgrade a saw. So consider those. Um, next is down to oppressor, steady grip, weapon accuracy again, fire control, weapon accuracy again, always great to have. Um, so let's move on to ghost. Now this is not a stealth class, obviously, but ghost does have some other uh, possibilities that you can put in for your loud class. So stamina, always great. Um, reloading while you sprint, always great. Shockproof. Um, just when you get tased, it's just an extra perk you can have. You can, you know, if you don't want this, definitely go spend the points somewhere else. But uh, I found this is the best just because I usually don't play with a full group, so um, sometimes it's a little harder for the AIs to kill the tasers. And now we're going to go down here to Silent Killer. 
Um, since we are using two silence weapons, this is where Ghost comes in really, really, really good. Um, is second wind and uh, the professional and specialized killing all helps with damage and accuracy in a in uh, silence weapons. So make sure you get those on, or you know your class will be completely changed. So lastly, um, fugitive. We're gonna have one thing in here, not a big deal, just about melee attacks. Don't have an ace martial arts, just put one point into it, and you're good to go. Um, so that's basically it. I'm not gonna get into perk decks too much because pretty much it's what you want. Um, I use Hitman. It's all about armor um, and damage. So that's up to you. But definitely um, look into what you want because there is other options. And um, one of the things you do want to get to is Walk-In Closet. Uh, Walk-In Closet is really, really helpful. So when you do make perk decks, get, get to Walk-In Closet before you spend all your points on one level. So um, that's really important. So I'm glad. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, you know, definitely comment down if you have anything better. I would love to hear it. But this is what I've been found that's working for me. So try it out. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys later.